been waiting for you. The adversary I asked you to defeat is now standing before you. Yes, I am referring to myself. I have long sought an understanding of who I am, just as you and my master have done. Those who set foot in the Velvet Room are all destined to embark on this search for identity. I have come to know power in many forms. If I face one whose power exceeds my own, then I may discover an answer to my question, the truth of my existence. You may be able to give me that answer. Will you do me the honor of fighting me? You have my thanks. Now, shall we begin? Who is that? Um, is it just me? Or does it seem like she wants to fight? What? Her power is unbelievable! Who is she? Uh. I make my living as an elevator attendant, but... I know several effective ways of inflicting pain. Don't worry, I'm not as fragile as I look. Try to kill me, if you can.
Can you withstand this? A token of my appreciation. No. Magnificent. Your power is every bit as impressive as I'd hoped. But the curtain has just risen. Show me your best performance. I apologize in the face. I have chosen. Can you withstand this? A token of my appreciation. I... I believed that I would find my answer when I challenged one who was stronger than me. But I was wrong. I have received no such revelation. Not even in defeat. Wait. I am mistaken. The answer is this. Only I can decide who I am. Now, I believe congratulations are in order. You have overcome the most difficult obstacle I've placed in your path. You shall receive your reward, the same as always. But please accept this as well. It is no reward. It is a sign of my gratitude. Well then, good day. I've been waiting for you. You needn't look so perplexed. You came at my behest to defeat the foe I suggested you would find. And here I am. I'm sure you understand by now. As I believe I have mentioned before, I represent power in its purest form. As such, I may only reach my answer when I encounter one whose power surpasses mine. As I said, I have long been looking into the issue of who I am, which I believe is the same for my master and you as well. Those who gather in the Velvet Room are destined to embark on a search for identity. You may be able to give me the answer I crave. Will you do the honor of fighting me? Most kind of you. Now, shall we begin? me or does it seem like she wants to fight what her power is unbelievable who is she persona i am he who governs power i should pose a challenge even for you I advise that you do not hold back. Fight as though you intend to kill. A token of my esteem. Can you endure this? No!
a token of my esteem. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Here. My apologies for this. I have chosen. has reached its climax. I regret that this moment must end. My apologies for this. Can you endure this? No! yourself. My apologies for this. Are you okay? Here. No. What is this feeling? This joy? I shall give the battle my all now. Can you endure this? Can you endure this? Be careful! Here. Can you endure this? No! Can you endure this? I would have my answer when I met one whose power surpasses mine. Or so I have long thought. But despite my loss, I hear no faint epiphany whispered in my ear. And yet, 
What is this emotion that wells up within me? It's as if the core of my being is filled with satisfaction. Could this be my answer? Only I can answer the question of my true self. Is this, then, the first step toward finding that answer? Well done. You are indeed a wonderful guest. I will dole out your reward in the usual fashion. Oh, and, please, take this. It's not a reward, only a sign of my gratitude. Well then, may we meet again in that room. Mind how you go on the way back. Thank <laughs> you. 
So you've come. I spoke to my master after you left. It seems my predecessor also requested a duel from our last guest. Though there's no way of knowing whether the boy took her up on the offer. <laughs> I called her foolish, but it seems we are kin indeed. Are you sure you're ready? As the one who rules over power, I will fight with the utmost deference to you. Show me what lies beyond a mere exchange of words. I am charged with the heat and tension of battle. Now we begin. Don't disappoint me. Huh? Wasn't she a... Uh... What the... She's floating? 
Her power level is insane! Don't tell me you're going to fight her! Soda! Tell you now, discard any concern you may have for me. You will honor me by fighting as though you mean to kill. To hold back would be nothing short of insulting. Withstand this! <laughs> Yoink! No way, she can use a persona too? Who Don't is let me she? Down. has it been since I felt this invigorated? My apologies, but I'm even more eager to defeat you now. Just watch. <laughs> ah! Just watch. <laughs> Oh, 
yours! Marvelous. Even Elizabeth never backed me this far into a corner. Now show me. Show me what lies beyond battles. Just watch. <laughs> While we were fighting, I recalled the fairy tale that girl told me once. Before that girl left, she told me this. A soul slumbers at the ends of the world, that of a young man who devoted himself to becoming a seal. That soul is risking itself to prevent mankind, who has lost the joy of living, from calling down ultimate destruction. She told me that she was going to save him from that fate. To tell the truth, I wondered what sort of nonsense she was speaking. But no, she was serious. She said if she couldn't do it alone, she would combine her powers with those who bonded with that soul to enact a miracle. Maybe all that she said was the truth. And that was her reason for leaving the Velvet Room. She must have come to realize what I now understand. You, a human, one against me, one who rules over power. You have shown me one's potential. Those who search for themselves are no one as long as the search continues. 
It is an emptiness, but limitless potential. It means the seeker can choose to be anything he or she wishes. That's why she made a choice. I had planned to bring her back by force, but I won't interfere with her anymore. Her wish seems staggering to contemplate, but fortunately the chains of time are loose for us residents. Even if there isn't time enough in a single era and it takes her eons, she will accomplish her mission. This boy she took such a fancy to. <laughs> I'm somewhat curious as to what kind of human he must be. Your victory was truly amazing. And I must thank you. Of all the humans I've encountered until now, you shook my soul the most. This is proof of my reverence. Please accept it. With that much power and will, you can overcome any obstacle. Should you ever run up against your limits and feel you cannot overcome your boundaries, you'd be lying to yourself. Simply recall today's victory. There's no need to worry. Even if you should lose everything, your soul will not be isolated. And if that does happen, just as she did for the other boy, I shall do for you. Well then, I will return to the Velvet Room and take up my original duties. Let us meet again. I never expected your rehabilitation would bring you to this place. No matter, it's the perfect spot to train and get some battle experience. I like your spirit. You know the position you're in. Although, how did he learn of mementos? Perhaps he is even more special than we had anticipated. Ha! Huh. I bet he just fumbled around with the meta nav until he ended up here. I mean, who'd even be able to tell him about this place? We know everyone who might have access. Mementos is linked to the collective unconscious, after all. That is true. Ha! Huh. I will admit, even though he looks pretty shabby, he seems to have a few tricks up his sleeve. If... If he has been keeping his power a secret from us, we must learn the truth behind it. Oh, I see. <laughs> we'll hold a special private examination to find out if he's hiding anything. Unlike in the city, we will not have to worry about passersby here. I have to say, Justine, I never thought you'd bring such a bold proposal to the table. <laughs> you ready, inmate? I'm itching to get started. As she said, this will be a private examination. It is all for the sake of our own personal judgment. Hence, we will not force it upon you. We will begin only once we have received your consent. It's gonna be brutally hard, after all. Max difficulty. Your rehabilitation consists of a great variety of tasks. Battling shadows, strengthening your personas, building bonds with your contractors. Basically, we're gonna put all that to the test. Fight us! There's no better way for us to tell how strong you really are. We will not ask for a two-on-one battle, though. Your friends are permitted to participate as well. The contracts you have formed with them can be considered a part of your power, after all. However, this test is ultimately for you. Your teammates will not retain any memory of this battle. Don't worry, we won't kill you. Our goal is rehabilitation. Ending your life would greatly contradict that goal. Should you fall, you will regain consciousness immediately. Once you pass out though, that's it. The battle's over. Oh, and there's not even a one in a billion chance you'll win. So you should just forget it. If by some chance that were to happen, let me see. We would tell you an embarrassing secret of ours. What? What, 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 what do you mean? Uh, are you talking about that one time or uh, maybe that other thing? Wait, there's no need for this. If by chance the inmate holds that much potential, we might be able to find the answer. That's the fancy bookmark you're always carrying around. Strange, don't you think? 
why do we possess such an intricate bookmark when neither of us have any books to read? Moreover, I somehow know that this is important. Justine, don't tell me. Are you actually trying to find... My apologies. I have said too much. Let us begin, Caroline. Uh, right! You get what this examination is gonna be now, right? It shows how special we think you are. Consider this an honor! You should be crying tears of joy! Okay, let's get started. Scared, huh? We promise to gain your consent. If you do not wish to fight, we will not force it upon you. However, please report back to us if you happen to change your mind. Have you fully prepared for our examination? Hopefully you're prepared to lose. So, are we gonna fight? That's the spirit. We will cordon off a portion of this area for the examination. That will limit potential interference. Now then, do not disappoint us. Die too quickly! Now, let's get started, inmate! You needn't hold back. Though you will soon realize that you lack the time to even consider that option. Get ready! Here we go! Huh! Good on you for not giving up! However, do not expect us to go easy on you. This examination is meant to draw out your full strength, after all. You heard her! Let's do this! Stick to the plan! Persona! Who are these kids? Aww, those little costumes look perfect! They're so cute! Can I take them home with- Hmm! Wait! What? Not bad. Oh, for We're real? We're gonna lose persona levels. Watch out! Those two are wrecked. Monsters! Persona! Persona! Are persona users too? Who are these girls? Alright, I'll do my best. But not impressive. And Panther dodges with grace. Take this. Persona! But I'm ready. There's something down now. I just saw the new stars. There's no time for indecision. Own it! Shitsune! Hold on. Shoot first, ask later. Not that we've let you. The purpose of this examination is to ascertain your true power. We will continue until you fall. Eat 
Into this? Yes, that was quite the warm up. I may actually be able to enjoy this beyond the scope of our examination. <laughs> Justine never gets into this kind of stuff. Don't let us down, inmate. Persona! Don't get cocky. Take this. Unexpected. <sighs> yeah, this isn't the power of a normal human. Looks like we don't need to go easy on you anymore. <laughs> You're way better than we thought you'd be, inmate. We'll give it all we've got from now on. Maybe now we will be able to see, see the hidden truth. Persona! Come on, Persona! Why should I listen to you? Persona! Quad Panther's help! 
All right. can this be? He has proven himself equal to us. Perhaps he is even stronger. Could that one in a billion chance actually happen? Of course! If this is truly the case. Justine, listen close, inmate. Show us what lies beyond our limits. Show us who you are. Who we are! Justine, what are you? Now! Give me everything you have! It's showtime! Let's finish this! <laughs> Such rudeness. Support's on the way! This one. Okay. Thank you. Get ready. Take this. Oh, this. So persistent. Here goes. Impressive. And Panther dodges with grace. There. Take back when the last two are born to stop breathing. Take this! No, no, no! Persona! It's my decision. This time it could be my moment. This has to be a joke. Persona! Up to you. It's finally time. We can't afford to lose. Persona! Go to hell! And not as bad, inmate. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Um, no. That was no joke. <laughs> Forces through me. That looks so strong. We lost to a human. <laughs> I can't believe this actually happened to us. <laughs> it's a little strange. Even though I should feel humiliated, I feel. Refreshed. Like I finally was able to leave something behind. <laughs> oh, our sisters are gonna get mad at us. It turns out even the rulers of power can't measure everything. Sisters? Rulers of power? Caroline? What did you just... Hmm? Did I say something weird? <sighs> Inmate, it seems the time has come for us to fulfill our promise. I will now tell you our embarrassing secret. What? We still have to do that? To be perfectly honest, from time to time, a strange feeling of unease falls over us. 
It is almost as though we are not ourselves, or that our true selves are in a place far, far away. Huh? We are meant to be leading inmates through rehabilitation, yet we have doubts about our own validity. <laughs> Could there be anything more humorous than that? Oh, so that's what you meant. Are you not ashamed, Caroline? What did you think I was going to talk about? Perhaps the time you nearly wept from fear when you first witnessed a Persona fusion? What? Or about those intimidating poses you had practiced, that you're too embarrassed to use on the inmate? Stop! My heart can't take this! <sighs> After I lost you, albeit for a brief moment, I saw something. It was then that I knew for certain just as you have your goal of rehabilitation, we too have an objective we must achieve. We're supposed to act as wardens for our master, right? Then how do you explain this? It is completely unrelated to that task. Well, um... Inmate, I will now disclose the results of our examination. If I had to describe your current state, I would say you are... He who will save the souls of humanity. To commemorate your victory, I entrust this bookmark to you. I require no thanks. After all, I am the one forcing my own issues upon you. If you continue to hold ties with us, we will surely arrive at the truth. That is how I feel. Ugh. Oh, I stay quiet and you just gotta go saddling him with more work. <laughs> well, I won't tell our master about this. It'll just be one of our secrets. Wait! Speaking of secrets, you only told him mine! <sighs> this isn't fair. You would like one from me? Recently, whenever the inmate takes prolonged absences from our chamber, I... miss him. According to human standards, directly conveying this emotion may be somewhat uncomfortable, but that is how I feel. Caroline is probably the same way. <gasps> I... I simply wanted you to know. Oh, you understand this is a secret to be kept between us, yes? Sh shut up! She just said it's a secret! Uh, okay, that's enough of that. Yes, any further discussion may interfere with our work. Things are gonna go back to how they were before. This special inspection was a one-time deal. Though I think we might feel a little differently when we're watching over you from now on. That means we're gonna be stricter than ever. Y you got that, inmate? I've been waiting for you. I came here to ask a favor of you, actually. Would you mind indulging me? I would like to engage you in combat. Now that I've regained my original form, I wish to duel you once more. I've witnessed just how much you've grown since defeating the Malevolent God and completing your rehabilitation. As one who rules over power, I wish to judge such growth firsthand. That is correct. As such an individual, it is my responsibility to gauge your power. It is a vital step to my self-discovery. My master has granted permission for us to engage in battle, but I will not force you to accept the challenge. Now, please come speak to me once you are prepared. Before we begin, there's something I wish to discuss with you. As we stand before each other like this, I realize that I'm feeling a bit unusual. I suppose one would call it nervous. Is it possible you feel the same? I expected such a reply. You truly have nerves of steel. As one who rules over power, I am truly delighted with your indulging me in combat. Please, share with me everything you've experienced on the path you have taken up to this point. 
Of course, this path could not have been forged without the assistance of your comrades. Thus, they are permitted to assist you in this challenge as well. That will permit me to fully display my own strength. And now, here I come. So this is Lavensa. Don't be tricked by how she looks. Her power is enormous. Your only chance is to give her everything you've got. There is no need to hold back with me. Please come at me with every last bit of your strength. And now, let's begin. I'm rather confident that you haven't shown the true extent of your power here. It's time to draw the curtain. Nothing personal. We barely started. The finishing blow will be dealt by us. I'm pleased to see that you haven't given up on your rehabilitation. Now, let's begin. This calls for... My power! Persona!
for determining your opponent's affinity is quite impressive. I, too, am beginning to warm up. However, the next phase won't be nearly as simple. This calls for... Play of skill. The countless hardships you've suffered have clearly been of benefit to you. It's often said that luck determines a great deal of one's success. Allow me to witness your own luck next. This calls for. Good. 
good a time as any. Uh, fine. I will not lose. This calls for... You're the chosen trickster. To think you'd push me to such a point. You've made it clear. I must be willing to tap into the absolute depths of my might. I hope you've prepared yourself. From this moment forward, I am holding nothing back. This calls for. My! How's this? Please get up! Persona! Let's go. Some other way. Kahulin! You're mine. Will you survive? Lance is running in. Don't hold back. It's strong and guns won't help. Persona! Be careful! That should do. Will you survive? Oh, yeah. Time to strike back. Stood up. All the way. March. I won't give in. Let's attack together, Joker Senpai. Let's go. Shall we?
Mine! Who's got some moves? Here I come. Alright. Thank you so much. Nice time. Will you survive? I will break them. This enemy is tough. An electric attack won't work on it. Here. Will you survive? Nice, Joker. Just at the last. This minute. calls for. I have truly witnessed firsthand the fruits of your rehabilitation. No matter what strives to keep you down, you have retained your freedom through your own will. Despite all the pain and hardship in your way, you kept faith in your comrades and continued to fight for your beliefs. You may say that, yet you still accomplished the task. That must be what charms those around you. You do not simply outshine others. You charm them, pushing their abilities beyond the limits they thought they had. That must also be a form of power to rule over. Thanks to you, I feel as if I now fully comprehend my role as one who rules over power. I am a being that must inherently believe in the potential of humanity as they are guided along. As such a being, I am hesitant to admit this. But, I am happy. I'm extremely grateful that I could witness the path you've chosen to forge. Thank you so much, my trickster. Yes, you're welcome. This is a token of my gratitude for you. Won't you please accept it?
When you previously defeated me while I was separated into halves, I had given you a bookmark. That bookmark was originally entrusted to them as my memories given form. What I bestow upon you now is the genuine article which the other merely imitated. Your possession of both bookmarks proves that your strength is exceptional. You may currently be confronting an incredible ordeal with your comrades. However, no matter what obstacle stands in your way, you have no need to fear. After all, I have deemed you the world's greatest man. That reminds me. Now please excuse me. Oh, hey guys. Good job. Hmm? Jose-chan, you seem kind of down. Is something wrong? Sorry, I didn't mean to make you worry. But a lot's happened lately. Before I got here, I was able to drink so many flowers. That was all thanks to you guys. So, I thought I was beginning to understand humans. But now, the more flowers I drink, the less I understand them instead. Oh, I gotcha. It's like love, right? You know, puppy love. You understand his explanation. Sko. You know squat about love. Shut up! I know what I'm talking about, pretty much. Boneface is right. I've learned about humans in a manner similar to falling in love. When you learn more about a subject, it's often more than unexpected. It's the exact opposite of what you liked about it. Just like with love. Uh, right? <laughs> See? I want to learn more about humans, but I wonder if I'll learn what I need to about them just by keeping at it like this. Mind if I propose a simple solution? Why study humans at all? Why not just give it up? I can't do that. I promised someone that I'd study humans. Who'd you promise? Uh, sorry. Forget I said that. I can see how that would worry you. There are times where the truth seems to move further away from you the more you strive to reach it. I've dealt with similar problems, so I can totally relate. I aim to handle them whenever the opportunity presents itself, though. I really appreciate your help with this. So, I need an opportunity. Oh, that's it! Could I ask you guys a favor? I'd like you to fight me. Uh, yeah. I think you left out a step or three. I'm not following here. I've learned something from studying humans. When humans suffer, they vent their emotions so they can move forward with their lives. Well, right now, I'm suffering. The only people I can vent at are you guys. And the most common way to vent is to fight. You want to get physical here? You can't just pick a fight with us out of nowhere. What do we do? I definitely didn't expect this. Well, unless we fight him, we won't know whether or not this is his opportunity. We simply have to decide if we're going to humor him. What do you think? Should we fight Jose? Thanks. This may be sudden, but here I come. I'm going to start venting now. Don't expect me to hold back. Pedal to the metal. Watch this. Okay. Starting 
to enjoy this. Why, though? This hurts so much, but I'm actually enjoying it. Wait, I need to focus. Here I come, folks! Come! No. Here goes! job all around. Sorry about that. Painfully well. <laughs> Thanks to all of you, I... Ooh, did you learn something new? I'm pretty sure I understand humans less than ever. Uh? I was anticipating he'd say the exact opposite. Yeah, I was hoping things would end on a happy note here. Well, this is an issue. I'm sorry we couldn't help you. Why are you sorry? Well, you did say you understand humans even less now and all. That's great news! Humans aren't the easiest to comprehend. That's why they can get lost and look for other people they trust. Sometimes they even try to accomplish the impossible with those people, like you all just tried to do for me. Now I'm sure that's what it means to be human. So, it's impossible to learn everything about humans in such a short time. Although, it did make me realize just how much I love them. So our assistance was to your satisfaction. Yep, I finally understand now. I can go back to that person whenever I want. Hey, Jose, who's this person you keep mentioning? And while we're at it, who are you? I... I am me. I'm Jose, a boy who got a little smarter because I met all of you. No matter who we are, we're always searching for ourselves. Just remember, 
There are more folks observing humankind than you might realize. It's a secret for now. You'll find out someday. I have something for you, to thank you for spending so much time helping me. Here, take this. <laughs> this is so interesting. Oh, humans. No wonder the others just can't leave them be. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Don't worry, it's nothing. See you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I hope you'll still help me collect flowers, too. Off I go. Good job. I don't fully understand what just happened, but did that take care of his problem? Jose. He may be weird, but he sure is a cute little kid. What? Lady on! I'm cute, too! 